<laughs> hey everybody welcome oh, as usual it never fails something is always creating technical difficulties but it's okay I managed to get everything up and running last minute like two seconds ago so I see we have some people joining us in the chat starting off let me know where you're watching from and where you are <laughs> where you are in the world where you're watching from are you home are you on the road are you out what state are you in give me a hello or a shout out in the comments below i see airline i hope i'm saying it right was here bright and early first one in the chat box so kudos to Ireland. super cheers for you because you came on like you were ready to go so shout out to you i'm so excited to be here with you guys live tonight we're doing a new thing, so I'm going to be talking a little bit more about that. Uh, Miss Milagro, Steve Latino, woo! <laughs> in the house, 100%. I'm so glad you can join me. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate you so much for sharing the stream, inviting everyone to join us. Um, but let me know um, if you guys can hear me, if you guys can see me, if the sound is working and if everything's okay. I have one camera that I'm like slowly trying to get to come online, <laughs> but I had a backup because this happened to me last week where you guys couldn't see me. So I said, okay, this week we're going to do two cameras just to be sure. <laughs> but um, who else do we have in the chat? Who else is watching? Who else is joining us? Um, Linda, good evening. Welcome, welcome, Linda. Shout out to Linda. Always such a huge supporter. Um, Save with Milagros. Thank you for joining me again for a brand new, um, brand new thing, right? Um, it's like every time we turn our heads, it's a new thing, new season, new month. This is also the end of the Avon campaign for us. So today there was a lot of like closing out the budget for August, um, changing planners for a new month getting my week set up for a new week, um, doing this thing here, which is, again, something new, never never been done before, setting up, planning, trying to get things going. Um, Nita, hey Nita, another huge, huge, huge thank you to Nita, always ready to support a fellow sister. Uh, <laughs> Nita from the Bronx, right? like Jenny from the block. But yes, us Brooklyn people got to stay together. So thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for joining. I'm so glad you can join me here. Um, I thought I had like a keyboard by as well. I'm going to test it real quick. So let me see it in the comments box. Again, where are you watching from? Um, I'm going to be chatting with you in the comments as well, but I want to get the conversation going. As you guys know, like whenever we do these streams, whether it's me, me and Milagros, or just Milagros, we we want to chat it up. We want to hear from you. This is definitely a dialogue. I'm going to be hanging out with you guys tonight. Um, so don't be shy. You're all family, brothers and sisters. We've been doing this for a long time. We've been on Facebook. We've been on YouTube. Um, and now, again, something new. So we, we've... We've done it all, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, let's see. Do I have any anyone sharing who they're from? Yes, Nita, the Bronx. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> um, oh, thank you, Nita. You can see me, and thank you. I was like, I need to start pulling out the workwear because we've been home for the last few months, and we haven't been dressing up. I, I was just telling Milagros Gross the other day that I have been wearing um, like spandex pants and T-shirts every day day in day out and when i took a break from spandex and t-shirts it was so that i could wear a jumpsuit or romper so i've been wearing jumpsuits you know you know you guys know how it is for the past few months we've been doing comfy cozy soft cuddly clothes but there have been some amazing sales have there not have you guys seen the sales that people have been having these past few months crazy uh like there was an email that I got. They were basically giving the clothes away. It was like, buy one, get two free. <laughs> I was like, I, I kind of want to take advantage of the sale, but I also don't want any more stuff. So there's that. <laughs> so thank you, Nita. Thank you for joining. Let me just slide over real quick and check this thing, see what's going on. Okay. 
Yeah, I think my keyboard is completely dead. I and it's you know what I use for my shortcuts and my commands. So it's hashtag hard times, first world problems, right? <laughs> One of my keyboards is not working for one of my cameras, but what can you do? Um, what else? Who else do we have here tonight? Um, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Linda, TV Latino, TV Latino. Okay, so Linda from Maryland, thank you for joining from MD. I just sent a package to Maryland the other day. I should probably check and see if it arrived. You guys aren't far from us. I've driven out to Maryland for events. It's like a seven hour drive, a nice short drive, but long enough short drive. Um, that's about as long as I want to drive. I, I've done trips to Virginia. I haven't done Florida. I've, I've gone as far as Virginia. Oh, and um, West Virginia. Uh, well, Virginia, but you know, two different sides. I've gone South to Virginia and I've gone East, West to West Virginia. Um, too long for me. I'm not a driving person. But um, Maryland, I can do. Maryland's about as far as I want to go. Yay, Millie, I see you. Thank you for joining. I'm just going to give everyone some time to come in and kind of chat it up with you guys. I see you guys. Thank you for dropping in the chat that you're here, that you're connecting with me. Let me just turn this guy. When in doubt, off again, on again. It never fails, right? <laughs> Okay, that's one thing. Yes, one thing that's coming back. Let's see if we can get that going. Great, all right, so this is where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> I need the other camera for other things. So I was like, let's see if we can make this work. Now I just need to make my keyboard work, but I, I can live without that. Um, all right, so. Malagra says sales are great. Yes, sales are awesome. They are picking up. I There's so much stuff that I have to share with you guys. So much new stuff. So much fun stuff. So many things that I'm excited about. Well, thank you, Miss Malagros. I should give like a behind the scenes view of my setup. It's kind of crazy today. But like I said, I wanted backups for backups. Um, and now you know why. Because, you know, for obvious reasons. Um, never fails. Uh, <laughs> Yes, so Linda just brought up one thing. We just had virtual convention, so shout out to everyone who attended virtual convention. If you were there, go ahead and drop a hashtag. I've already forgotten the the, the hashtag. Uh, <laughs> was it Avon Virtual or um, Virtual Visionaries? I We were using so many hashtags, well I was, this weekend, and I got to the point where I was just like, you know what, copy and paste. So I think it was either, I think it was Avon Visionaries, hashtag Avon Visionaries. So if you were there, drop a hashtag Avon Visionaries in the comments box. So for all of us Avon lovers, two hands in the air, 10 hands in the air. Let me see those emojis and those hashtags. Um, who, I see somebody already with the hearts. Who is that? Nita, thank you girl. <laughs> so yeah, let me see either uh, hashtag Avon Visionaries or you know, give me a hands up if you were there. But conference was amazing. There were so many great things coming out and I was so excited. I, I have to say my biggest takeaway was like renewed energy. Um, I just felt so thankful to connect with other people, other like-minded people, people who have their mind towards growth and investing in themselves, personal development, you know, for three days for a conference to take that time, set it aside, you know, aside from family, aside from vacation, aside from all the things that you could be doing, to take that time and plug into your own personal development, it takes an amazing person to do that. So first of all, for everyone who attended, give yourself a pat on the back, a high five. Uh, who, oh, do we just have a subscriber? Yes, couldn't, thank you. Yes, this is an interactive session. So you do stuff and stuff happens. <laughs> so thank you for that. I see, a, I saw a sub. That's great. Um, yeah, so I, you know, kudos to you guys who made the time to attend. Um, you may not get, maybe you're on a team by yourself, or maybe you're not in contact with anyone, or you know, maybe your family's not supportive or whatever. But I'm here to give you kudos because you just did an amazing thing. Hold on, what is this tracker thing doing? Can, okay, 
Nobody wanted to warn me, like, Georgie, what is that? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so kudos to you guys for attending. But for me, just being around people like that, I think it kind of, like, stoked the flames in my heart. I see, um, Milagros. I know Milagros was there. Um, Milagros shared some really great videos. Um, Janet, hey, Janet. Avon's finest, yes. <laughs> um, thank you for joining Janet but um, Janet were you at conference I think so I feel like we spoke but when you don't get to see people you're like did I see a post from that person were they there but um, yeah Janet if you were there let me see that hashtag Avon visionaries in the comments but um, yeah we we learned about so many new products even though I didn't get to see everyone like normally we all are in one place for conference. You see each other when you go for breakfast and for lunch and when you're changing rooms in the hallways. But this time around, I didn't really, we didn't have that. So I tried to get a couple of Zoom videos going. I, you know, we made agreements to meet up some of us outside. You know, we're like, okay, we cannot wait a full year for this every year. <laughs> we need to make arrangements to meet up and get together and encourage everyone. But, you know, just having that opportunity to connect, whether it was in person or virtual, because I felt like just by sharing the hashtags and following the comments boxes and talking to people, I felt like I, I learned so much and I felt so connected to people, even though I didn't see them face to face. And I realized that, you know, we kind of have it in our mind where we feel like we need to see people and physically be in their presence. But I think I'm learning in this season of my life that it's not, that's not always true. I, I was trying to post on Facebook before my keyboard decided that it wanted to go on vacation, but it, it's gonna take a long, long vacation. But um, I, I wanted to post, you know, even though we, we can sometimes focus on the negative in this season, we can all be more together than ever before like look at all the people in the chat box the Bronx Florida Maryland um, what else what other states do we see coming up in the chat box and if you haven't posted yours yet go ahead and post it so I can see but all the people who are on this stream are from all over the US and you guys are watching here live. There are other people who are gonna watch and connect later from even more places. So I feel like we're even more connected than ever before, but we have to get in the mindset to develop those connections. And I'm not gonna lie, I've kind of been hiding, I think starting last year, I kind of just like distanced myself and I knew it. Milagros called me out on it a couple of times. You know, she's my accountability partner, but talking to some friends in you know, this conference, I was like, yeah, I really, drop the ball I, I needed to be more present and make you know more intentional about getting connected so this weekend was an opportunity for me to really do that so for you guys what was your biggest takeaway i know uh, i also love the giveaways there was like a giveaway in the beginning they give the giveaways like every five minutes and then during general session they did even more giveaways they gave away a lot of products they gave away a trip for two to Paris plus a two thousand dollar shopping spree. Now, okay, I like giveaways. I do. I, I I won that trip to Tahiti, um, and it was phenomenal. So to see someone else, even though I didn't win, and I wanted to win, I've never been to Paris, so I wanted to win. Even though I didn't win, I still felt so excited for this person. And then she shared later that she had never traveled to Europe before, so you know I can relate to that. So. I am so excited for her and her family to get to travel like that. Um, <laughs> Nita, you thought that little square thing was, was your phone? No, it's my camera. It does that. And I, I don't know how to turn it off. I mean, I could turn it off, but I don't know how to make it turn off automatically when I start streaming. It's supposed to be there to help you know what you're focusing on. So it'll, for example, it'll focus on me, not the stuff at the back. But it never, it doesn't say, you know, okay, well, now that we're on, we're going to turn that off. It just stays on. Um, Milagro said that she loved it. She loved conference. Linda said that um, she loved that it included so many actual representatives that did the training. I agree. I do love to see the representative training. And I do love, I felt like the tips were very um, 
exact, very detailed. It wasn't, um, you know, sometimes you get pie in the sky kind of tips. Um, and then when you leave, you're like, all right, but what do I do? Like, where are the actual steps? <laughs> So I, I felt like I got that this conference too. And I always say, you know, I've been with this company for 15 years. There is always something to learn. So I pity the person who's like, oh, I, don't, I know everything. I don't need to go. But Linda was all up in there. She got her training. Thank you for sharing that, Linda. Um, Katie. Hey, Katie. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Katie says she enjoyed it. Um, Lagra said she was so focused to win prizes. I know, like when they got those five minute, um, like what do they call it, trivia, where you had to type quickly to get those answers in. I was running back and forth to my computer. I was like, I, I thought this the day one was gonna be more re relaxing type of atmosphere, but it was very much like, okay, I need to be ready. <laughs> but um, did anybody win? Anybody on this stream win anything? I want to know so I could come to your house and try on your products. <laughs> um, yes, the shopping. Ooh, the surprise box. Who took advantage of that surprise box? I know I did. I was like, I want to try it. A friend of mine ordered the $25, the $50, and the $100. I just went for the $100. I was like, it's. I know it's going to be good value. At least $350, I think they said, on the $100 box. I was like, I need to try that. So I went for the 100. Um, Katie says she enjoyed learning new products and training. Um, Heidi, Heidi was also there. Hey, Heidi. Um, yeah, that lady was very lucky. Kudos to her. Oh, yes, Janet. How can I forget? Okay, like my one, like, <laughs> was that I did not win the full home makeover from LG because those of you guys who know me know I am like I have an entire house to pick out furniture and appliances for can I just like can I get my name on that please <laughs> I want to be able to you know not have to do home shopping I, I, I understand girls typically like to shop but I I like to shop for stuff that I don't need like when you go shopping, you're just like, yeah, let me spree and splurge. I love going to Michael's because I don't need anything in there ever. It's always just just for fun stuff. But now that I need like a whole house, furniture and appliances and all kinds of crap, I'm like, I don't want to do any of this. And I laugh because I have Pinterest boards of, you know, my dream room and dream living room and dream kitchen and all the things that I would want to get. And now I'm like, I don't want to buy any of this. I don't want to go shopping. I <laughs> do this so I was like if LG gives me the giveaway and I could just say here are the plans pick out whatever <laughs> and give it to me I would be so good with that but alas I didn't win kudos to those who did win congratulations to those guys um I, I, I don't envy you but I am like I would really have loved not so much for having the stuff more for not having to do the shopping myself <laughs> um yeah, Linda said, when you're learning, you want to know how you connect what you're learning to where you are in life. And Linda, I am so glad you said that. I'm going to give you a segue, but that's one of the things that I want to do here. I feel like um, a lot of time we'll go to conference or a training or a convention. I know I've done a couple of them, not just with Avon, but for my day job, for you know personal development. And a lot of times when you come back, you feel like you're disconnected from all the energy and all the excitement. Side note, if anybody here has heard of Tony Robbins, I know Milagros is like, again, but yes, um, I've done a couple of his conferences and he's, you know, the, the energy the atmosphere is so amazing and then when you come back it's like dang you know <laughs> crap <laughs> so i i get you you know to come off that high you see where the camera is that high <laughs> and then come back into your work regular atmosphere same old friends same old family same old community who's kind of you know in this area right here and you want to be on this kind of productivity level up here it's hard you know it creates this internal struggle where you're where you don't want to go back to where you are where you were before but it's just hard maintaining that energy so one of the reasons i wanted to do this was to sort of help us stay on that page um and to connect more you know what i was saying earlier about hiding the last two years 
I, I feel like I, I don't do anything. <laughs> If Marcia is watching, I have to tag her. I was talking to my friend Marcia and I was like, I don't do anything at like a five. Everything I do is like a 10. I have a hard time if I say I'm going to do it. I may not do it right away, but when I do it, I'm going to try to do it, you know, to the best of my ability to go above and beyond. And it drives people crazy because they're like, you don't have to do everything perfect. And I'm like, but I can't do it. <laughs> I can't half-ass it, you know? <laughs> so, um... I was like, you know, I want to, I want to do these live streams. I'm going all in, up against the wall, hands down. So Linda, hopefully I can help with that. Uh, <laughs> help more with that. Um, Janet said because it was virtual, it was really hard to focus in. Okay, that is interesting. I did have that happen a couple of times. Like. I had to close all the windows on all my other browsers because it was so easy to kind of jump over to Facebook, start a conversation, and you, you tell yourself like, yeah, I'm listening, but there were definitely, Janet, there were definitely, definitely a couple of um, training sessions where I was like, I'm listening. I just don't know what they just said. <laughs> so there are at least two that I have to go back to that I just had trouble focusing in on what was being said. I know it was good stuff. I just couldn't make that connection um millie says like post instagram to see my picture oh millie does share a lot of pictures on instagram so we did have fun on instagram i kind of felt i didn't see you but i felt like you were there because every time like i would post then i would see one of your videos or i would look and i'd see your videos and i'd be like okay i need to post because we're, we're partying we're dancing i need to do that too uh <laughs> but yes janet she did have fun um beauty boss donna welcome thank you for joining us i think that's the first time i'm reading that name um here today so welcome beauty boss donna uh she said she got one of each box so you got the 25 the 50 and the 100 i want to see pictures i do want to see what's in the 25 and 50 dollar box because i really i couldn't decide if i wanted all three but i was like girl watch the budget um Anita says, start with the room at a time for decorating. Normally, I would recommend that, but in these circumstances, it's like we have to finish everything so that we can move back in finally. But it, it, yeah, it's all kind of being done at once, and it's two floors, so it's double of everything. Two kitchens, two living rooms, two dining rooms, like four bedrooms. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um... Avon's finest it was easier to be focused um one thing Janet though like normally at conference you'll go for a bathroom break and like us I, I know I do this I'll go for a bathroom break and I'll end up bumping into five people so what was supposed to be a five minute quick run to the bathroom becomes like a 20 minute we're in the hallways just hanging out or um that other place they you know how they normally decorate the whole um like with all the products they normally have one expo of all the holiday products I, I swear, I was telling my mom, I feel like I spend at least maybe four hours in the expo. And for some reason, I'm there every day of convention. There's never been a convention where I've gone the one day, seen the expo, and come back out. I remember one year they gave us like a, a special um, preview time as President's Club members. I went, and then I went back. So this time it was nice to not spend my entire convention walking <laughs> the expo floor although i do miss having pictures of the product um milagro says she moved her set up to living room so that she can dance too you did oh my gosh <laughs> um yeah i do miss i do miss socializing but there's always zoom and go to meeting and video passion girl 21 27 3 Got the $100 box, sames. Um, and yeah, okay, so that's all the stuff that you guys are talking about. Whew, we got all caught up, which is nice. Um, yes, Passion Girl, I wanna see that $100 box. You guys know I will do an unboxing. So, what are we doing here? <laughs> Why did I ask you guys to all come out and hang out with me? Well, the announcement is that I'm gonna be doing this every day every day, five days a week, I'm going to be here live with you guys from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. And we're going to have fun with it. I'm going to be doing a lot of different things, but my goal is 
Um, first and foremost, like I have a whole strategy that I said I really need to work on. And this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I really wanted to vlog. I walk with my camera. I take a lot of pictures. I do a lot of video. But my problem is, you guys know me, 100% transparency here. I hate editing video. So I would record, gather a lot of video, a lot of B-roll, have a lot of great stuff, and then I wouldn't post it. So it just kind of sits on my computer here. And Millie is always like, just take the picture and upload it. <laughs> just take it and upload it. And our workaround for you know her encouraging me has kind of been just do a live because when it comes to doing a live I'll get ready I'll get everything together it'll be live so there is no going back there is no fixing the the you know color correcting lighting correcting and you know retouching so it kind of helps me um kind of get over that hump of trying to make everything so perfect that it never gets done so that's the first <laughs> yeah vlogger says no editing no editing it's live when it breaks it's just broken it is what it is i have to learn to live with it but the other th reason i wanted to do this was because i i wanted to educate um i wanted to provide more education because that's my wheelhouse i learned that this past convention um i'm a nerd i love the technical stuff i love to teach i love helping people problem solve. I love troubleshooting. Um, you guys know I'm an architectural designer. At the core of being an architect, contrary to popular belief, it's not just to design pools for houses that don't need them. Um, <laughs> it's, it's to solve problems, to help people take the image that they have in their mind of their dream home and relate it to the Department of Buildings, the code, the restrictions, requirements, the, the legal stuff and you know solve the problem by merging those two and creating something that com applies to code and also is as close to that person's dream as possible at least that's how I view architecture certainly okay let me <laughs> I was gonna go off on a tangent there but so I've always been a problem solver I've always loved helping people it's one of the reasons I got into this business and you know with everything that's going around we don't have like Janet said, we don't have that connection that we used to where I could come to your house and we could sit down and have tea and we could talk and you can ask your questions. And I'm realizing there are a lot of questions out there. A lot of questions about products, about um, how to use it, about you know what, cut, what type of skin you could use it on. So I want to answer those questions for you guys. So if you have questions, I'm gonna type my email in the chat box. No, I'm not because I have no keyboard. <laughs> I'll post it after all of this but um, I'm gonna share my email with you guys so if you have questions feel free to shoot them out to me I would love to answer them and I would love to answer them here live so that you guys can see them all you need to do is sub so that whenever I go live you get the little video you'll know when I've posted the video and you never know I might be asking or answering and sharing some of your questions here live. So I'm going to create this, you know, open forum. So that if you guys have questions, you can post them and I will answer them live and in person so that it's not like, okay, I sent an email three days ago and I haven't heard back. I know that could like, you know, it, the length of response time sometimes is makes it feel impersonal you know and then we get it you read it you may not understand at least like this you guys can ask your questions i can answer i could demonstrate and i can show you what we're talking about so if you want to know like what product do you use for dark circles um what product do you use for um hyperpigmentation or acne or large pores i have a lot of experience in all of those <laughs> i can answer all of those questions um and you know help direct you to the proper products um, we're also, I'm also going to be reviewing products here. Um, so this is kind of like, you know, us hanging out and shopping together. Do you guys remember shopping in malls with other people? There's going to be a whole generation of people who have no idea what's that like, what that's like. I know I used to go with my friend, we would try on clothes together and she would tell me always, oh yeah, that looks great on you. And I'm like, I've got chichos hanging out of every side. The back won't zip up. What? <laughs> we all need friends like that, don't we? Uh, <laughs> But, um, you know, there was an experience to it. So I'm going to be bringing that back live. So I'm going to be reviewing products. I'm going to be answering questions. I'm going to be trying on a lot of stuff here live with you. So this is sort of like me. Oh, Milagros. We are going to do a full segment. 
on Green Goddess. Why? Because that stuff <laughs> has re revolutionized my skin. And it's CBD. There's no THP, so I'm addicted because it actually works, not for any other reason. And I know Milagros is too. Um, um, amazing. How do we do that? How do we do what? Let me rewind. I'll post a pic of the $100 box. Okay, Kimberly. I'll be looking for it. Do me a favor, Kimberly. Tag. Hashtag Avon Boss. A-V-O-N. You should know how to spell that. Boss. B-A-U-S. For all of you, anybody who's watching, if you want to share pictures, too, of products, um, things that you're reviewing, Tag Avon Boss so that I can see it, and I'll also be featuring a couple of posts and pictures here live as well. So if you just purchased the product from me and you like it and you want to give a shout out, or if you're not really sure how to use it, that's okay too. Post a picture of it if you love it using hashtag Avon Boss, and or you know send me a question. I'm gonna post my email. It's basically going to be my name, Georgiana, plus live plus sign live at bossladies.com that's boss spelled b-a-u-s um and you can find me on all my social media channels i'll put them back up when we um finish and i'll be posting actually it should be in the stream in the bottom in the comments in the description actually yes all of my links are already there so you can already follow you can already um see how to contact me and i'll be looking for some pictures to share here so um, what I want this to be is really like an open forum as if I open my house for live get-togethers every evening from 8 to 9. Um, and you can come, you can shop with me, you can hang out with me. Um, I'm going to be sharing stuff and talking about stuff and, you know, also just getting to know each other. I want to bring back that person-to-person -person communication even though we're virtual. And I'm realizing, I, I just feel like at this stage in my life, at least right now for the next like month of September, I'm going to try to do it daily, like I said, Monday to Friday, weekly, every day, 8 to 9. I'm going to try to do it this way because I feel like one of the other issues that you guys have been sharing, part of your feedback, is when we have meetings sporadically, every other week, every third week, every fourth week, every third Thursday, which is when I used to have my meetings, you find yourself like, well, is the meeting today? Is this the third Thursday? Is this the second Wednesday? Did we meet last week? Did we meet the week before? This way it's easy to rem remember. It's 8 o'clock. What's on TV? Oh, Georgie's, Georgie's on live too. Hop on over. It's open. You can come in. You can invite your friends. We can hang out. We can talk together. Um, and like I said, I'm going to be sharing stuff. So we saw at conference that there are so many new things. I'm secretly a little bit scared because I was just like, yeah, I want that. <laughs> Oh, there's a, a $100 mystery box. I'll take that. I, I bought a lot of stuff. Um, sad to say, but I'm excited to see it all. And I'm going to be unboxing a lot of it here. So you guys will get to see a lot of the previews as well. And like I said, I'm going to be sharing product knowledge so that you guys can see and learn and grow so that we can do this together. So are you guys in? Let me see a hand emoji, a smiley face, a fire emoji, something in the comments box to let me know if you think this is great um and you can give me a little poopy if you think this is a bad idea <laughs> if you're like georgie i know you this is not gonna work just let me see that poopy emoji <laughs> it's okay open forum and i always say full transparency i appreciate you guys and your feedback you guys keep me accountable miss milagros miss janet you guys keep it real with me so that's okay um, we'll see if I, you know, we'll crash and burn together. Now, you don't need to be here every day. Tune in when you can. It, it's okay. <laughs> so, all right. So I kind of gave the intro. I kind of talked to you about what we're going to be doing. One of the things that I wanted to talk to you about today was mask makeup. So there are two sides to this that I want to share. There's like the no makeup makeup look. And there's where I live, which is if I'm going to put on makeup, I'm going again to a 10. I'm starting to see a pattern here. Uh, <laughs> Linda, Linda said she spent so much money <laughs> on her own products. I know the feeling. See, it's tough because it's like you get your discount, right? So I find what I found in, you know, um, as a rep is I'm going to spend. I make money so I can spend it on stuff that I like, that I enjoy. Um, if you have a problem with that, it's okay because you don't pay my bills. But um, 
as long as I don't spend outside of my budget. You guys know, even though I do spend, I do spend responsibly. I don't, I, you know, I will, I'm very, I'm kind of a stickler about that. Like I stay within my budget. I know how much I have to spend. And if I don't have it, you will hear me say, mm -mm, no, can't do it. It's not in the budget. That's, that was my catchphrase of 2018. My family was just like, not in the budget. I was like, nope not in the budget and it was my catchphrase for early 2020 too <laughs> so I finally got to the point where things are a little more sound a little more stable thank god so I, I splurged a little me and Linda did a little bit of shopping together so I want to see pictures Linda of what you got <laughs> I want to know what you got chances are it's stuff that I've gotten as well but I can't wait to see what you got Milagros also said she bought so much stuff. Yes. So that's the thing. Like we bought so much stuff sitting here at home. We get the boxes from Amazon. We open it up and we file it away, which is what I was doing because you don't see anybody. You're not wearing anything anywhere. You're wearing t-shirt and spandex the whole time. And I was like, this is not really all that fun. You know, I want to share what I bought. And I know you guys want to share what you bought and you guys want to see what I bought because I want to see what you bought. So why not, you know, work this together? Um, <laughs> Passion Girl says she wants the Eiffel Tower perfume. Oh, beautiful. Good stuff. Um, Nita, yes, I'm so sorry I can't type. I had planned to. Um, the email address is Georgiana, G E O R G I A N A, plus sign, not hashtag, just plus, um, uh, live, L I V E, because this is a live stream, at Boss Ladies. B as in boy, A U S L A D I E S dot com. You can email me there, send me your questions, um, send me what you want to see. If you want to see me do a video or a live demonstration of something, I will do that. Um, yeah, why not, right? Uh, so, what else have we got? Oh, thank you. I, yeah, no, I, I, there are times where I can't resist either, but I work it out into the next budget. So if I spent over this month, then next month I need to spend under to balance that out. I just have to, you know me, spreadsheets. Can anybody guess? <laughs> okay, who here took the fascination advantage? Let me see a, a high five emoji if you took the fashion fascination advantage quiz. And also, see if you can guess. Don't cheat if you saw my, my Facebook. Um, if you can guess which one is my primary trait might be a prize in it for you if you can guess don't cheat but um can you guys <laughs> from the way i've been talking i feel like i've kind of like i you know how you are but i feel like i've for years i've kind of been struggling with who i am and what i do and how it's weird and awkward and different from other people but now i kind of feel like oh okay i get why i'm like that now i could deal with it you know now that i know that's my wheelhouse i can do it but um yes so back to the topic um Oh yeah, passion girl. We have to find that rep who won and just see if we can cram ourselves into her suitcase so that we can go to. Or make enough money in this business so that we could save up and go to. But I mean, it's always better when Avon pays, is it not? It is. Um, Milagros says she would love to learn about my YouTube setup. Okay, we could do that one week. I have multiple cameras now. <laughs> So we could do that. I can. I'll be more than happy to show you guys how I do that. Yeah, I mean, um, tips for that was one of the things we were actually talking about um, to help prepare for live streams. Like, how do you do that? A lot of people ask me, how do you get in front of the camera and just start talking? Apparently, I'm a big mouth, so that <laughs> apparently is is one of the reasons. But I'm actually not. Those of you who know me know I'm actually more introverted. Um, more quiet and more shy but I think I've learned that one of the reasons why I'm more comfortable doing this is if I know that it'll benefit someone else I'll kind of push myself out of my comfort zone to, to do it you know I won't really think about how awkward it makes me feel <laughs> I'll, I'll just do it you know to help so Millie I could do that so let's dive in mask makeup so like I said, I'm the kind of person who I don't wear makeup if I'm not going out until COVID. Um, and now I wear makeup so that I could stay in and sit in front of a camera. And many of you are in the same boat. So there's apparently been a trend now where people who usually wear makeup aren't 
or if they do it's minimal makeup that's what I've been hearing me if I'm gonna put it on I'm gonna go the whole nine I was I did a couple of live streams and you guys will see them um, when I finally edit and post but I shared um, I, I was recording I was live I was talking to a friends while I was recording a video you know adding putting on my makeup and somebody was like are you wearing two foundations I was like yes I am why because that's just how I do it I just I, I need a layer of foundation for coverage and then I put on the powder foundation to set and I know I'm not going outside I don't need it to set I know I'm you know probably gonna be live for an hour maybe two probably not even two probably about 45 minutes but I just need to make sure that it, it's done properly right so I'm not one of those people <laughs> as you can see, um, who does the, the the minimal makeup. I've been trying it, but I just feel like if I'm gonna do it, I just wanna, I, I want it to, to show up on the camera, you know, so to speak. So tonight I have on some products that I'm gonna be sharing, but for me, I feel like even though I've been wearing a mask when I go out, if I'm gonna put on makeup, I'm either, you know, no makeup at all, totally looking like a fetus. I go out, it is what it is, you get what you get. Um, usually I have my hat pulled down anyway and I'm moving so fast <laughs> in and out of places because I don't want to be out that you won't even see my makeup. But if I do put on my makeup, I want you to see it. And lately, let me know what you guys have been doing, but this is just me. Lately, if I, if you, if I so much as even touch the foundation, I'm doing the eyeliner, the eyeshadow, the, the pencil, the um the glitter and lashes you know if, if it's on there i want you to see because like i said my mask is usually down to here and my hat is down to here my mask is up to here so i want that like boom that girl is wearing makeup i could see her a block away there go those lashes you know <laughs> i want to be you know that's just how i've been doing it so whichever camp you're in i've got products to share with you so i'm going to share a little tonight for those of you, you know, who are doing the mask thing, but you still are having your eyes out. And then tomorrow, if you guys want, um, let me know. I will show you how I keep my mask for full face. So um, sometimes I cheat. Sometimes I'll just do my eyes and I won't do any makeup anywhere else. I just do my skincare, which I've been loving. Milagros hinted at one of the products that have changed my life, literally. But I used to be so sub be like self-conscious about my skin because I was always breaking out. And you know, maybe three years ago, I kind of came to grips with it and said, look, it's my skin. If you don't like me for it, then keep it moving. I don't need that kind of negativity in my life, right? So I kind of came to terms with it. And then I found <laughs> just this year, Milagro shared this green goddess. Uh, I feel like I've been on the uptick. Like the new products that Avon has been coming out with have really been helping um, my my skin to be healthier so it's not just putting on product but putting on product that will that helps rejuvenate and revitalize my skin so I'm gonna be sharing some of those products with you and how I use them over the next few days but um, I, I find it funny because like, I'm like okay now that I don't care about having acne I found a way to get rid of it so <laughs> there's that but um Millie says no makeup with mask <laughs> we look beautiful anyway you do you do look beautiful anyway but um I just feel like makeup is it's that added accessory it's like earrings you know we don't need them my ears look fine without them but if I'm gonna put them on then yes they're gonna be chandelier or huge hoops or really sparkly studs because I want to it's there I want you to see it right um <laughs> Nita is showing some serious love for green goddess yes Nita that is the stuff I need to do an entire stream just on green goddess but um so on eyes so yeah, you can kind of go where you're not wearing any foundation and no lipstick, although I'm going to show you what I've been using on my face when I do wear a mask and, you know, how I keep it there and not on my mask. Um, and I'm, but tonight I'm going to show you some of my favorite eye products. So I feel like regardless of where you are in your, your um, feelings <laughs> towards wearing the mask, I feel like we all need, um, not that we need, but we all can wear eye makeup because that's the part that I think now is accentuated that we have our mask on because you know that's the part of your face that everybody is seeing so that's the part that people are still taking care of and accentuating um, I think in the past we accentuated our lips a lot because when you talk that tends to be the part people look at but now that you're wearing a mask what else do you have to look at but 
the person's eyes and eyebrows and for me who I, I I love Millie Millie was saying this the other day she loves smiling I love smiling too and it's a big part of my communication also my hand talking as you guys can see even though I'm on camera I make sure that my hands are right up here by my head so that you can see me talking my hands but when your mouth is covered I feel like I accentuate my eye expressions I mean like just watch my eyes as I talk and now since I've been wearing a mask I feel like because my lips can't convey my meaning as much, I put more meaning into my voice, more meaning into my hands. The other day I was talking to somebody and I was going like this. I wasn't even talking about anything really moving. It was like, I like that. But I had the mask on, so it's like, I like that versus I like that. And this person was looking at me like, are you angry? What's with the angry hands? But I needed to emphasize how much I loved it and needed it in my life. <laughs> and I couldn't do it with the mask. So, I, you know, my voice, my hands, and my eyes. When I talk, my eyebrows do all kinds of weird things. It's like you could just have a show on my eyebrows. Like it's really just intriguing, isn't it? You know? And I, I, I never talked like that before, at least I don't think so. I have to go back and watch my videos, but I feel like I have so much more like eye expression. <laughs> so for those of you who are like me, what are the products that you use to accentuate those features that are people that people are seeing more? Look, even though we're coming to the end of summer, you're in the mask, you're hot, you're running for the bus, you're out of breath, like, and all of that hot air is blowing back in your face, you're sweaty, you don't want your makeup running down. You don't want your eyeshadows to slip and run. For me, Millie says she could see the impression in my eyes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um, yes. Makeup in the eyes. So for me, I, I feel like I need products that aren't going to move. In the past, I felt like I would get away with products because I had the time to... I would... First of all, we touch my makeup multiple times during the day. Now I don't want to do that because I don't want to touch my face. Once I leave the house, I don't touch anything. I don't touch, like, I feel like I said to my mom the other day, everything in my car and everything in my purse is dirty. I just live with that mindset. So I'm not worried about cross-contaminating anything. I know once you see me put my purse on my back and I there's a certain point in my house where I mentally say everything beyond that point is like outside, it's dirty. So once I touch my purse or touch anything in my purse, my hands are dirty. Once I cross that border, I put on my coat, I touch the doorknob, my hands are dirty. Once I get in the car, <laughs> my hands are dirty. So at those points, I don't touch my face. So you guys see me here. I, you know, I touch my face. I touch my eyes. Um, I see you guys sharing some great products in the in the chat yeah passion girl your eyes are the mirror of your soul so even though you can't see our mouth we are we're emphasizing our eyes and our expressions through our eyes and communicating with our eyes and there was a video I have to find it but somebody was saying that um, you subconsciously read like um, how you how you not interpret how you connect or relate to a person you read it in their eye expressions like in like looking into their eyes you get subcontext and sub meaning from them so um yeah eyes are windows to our soul passion girl I agree so I've I've been finding that I want to use products that I a don't have to reapply um, because I'm not going to touch my face and I'm not gonna touch anything that I'm gonna put to my face even my phone I am now that person in the supermarket walking around with her phone on speaker because I'm not going to put it to my ear once I've touched it. So we become, <laughs> I know you guys are like, Georgie, it's that serious. Um, I, I feel like we're more so more conscious of those things now. Um, we're, we're careful about what we touch and then what we put back on our face for health reasons. Um, we're not, I'm, I'm not reapplying my makeup. I just, I'm not going to do it on the street. If I have access to wash my hands, then I might, but who's looking for that? I, like I said, I want to come back home. The other thing is you, you're hot, you're sweaty. Like I said, you're in the mask, going about your life, and it does make you feel a little bit hotter. It'll probably be better in the winter, but I have a feeling it won't be because if you've ever worn a scarf in the winter, you feel that like, you know, heat. Sometimes it, it becomes like a frost on your face. So I, I feel that it's probably going to be the same warmth once winter comes but hopefully we'll be done with this before winter but um 
Oh, Linda says she was telling someone the other day that she misses people's expressions so much in talking. Yeah, but we're making our way around it. You know, I, I was thinking about it the other day and I, when I thought about how I communicate, I said, I, I was watching someone and I, I was reading them. Oh, they had, um, I was talking to someone who had glasses and a mask on. So I was really like, okay. At first I was having, I kept asking what, what, what? I couldn't understand. But after a few minutes of watching the person's body language, and I wasn't conscious of it at the time, but I realized like, wait, how come I can understand that person now? I, they still have their sunglasses on. They still have the mask on. I can't hear them any clearer than before. But like I had adapted to reading their body language. And I was like, wow, human beings are so amazing. Um, we can just, regardless of our situation and our circumstances, we adapt to learn and grow. So while I do this, I want to show you some of these products because I, I will, you know, talk, talk, talk. But um, we, we adapt. So I want my makeup to adapt to where I am. And right now, I want my makeup to stay put. I don't want it running off when I'm sweating. I don't want to have to reapply it once I've left my house because it's not going to happen. So here are the products that I'm loving. Can you guys see these guys? Have you guys seen these glimmer shadow eyeshadows? I am in love with these and these have been my go-to these last few months. They come in a multitude of shades. They now, like just last week, introduced mattes. They're like a satin matte. So you do get a little bit of shimmer, but it doesn't move. So this is the shadow that I've been wearing a lot. This is Moonstone. So I want to show you guys how it goes on because A, the color is very vibrant, but this is the satin. I scratched myself. This is the um, Moonstone. You see it's like a satin matte. It's not so matte that it doesn't have any shine to it, but I'm going to show it to you in relation to this one. This one is Diamond Dust. So when Glimmer Shadows first came out, and quick question, let me just come back for a minute, see if any of you guys know. Does anybody know? I wanted to have trivia, but keyboard's broken. Does anybody know when, and I'm gonna time it, I wanna see in the chat box. So get your, get your keyboards ready, I wanna see. Who here knows when Glimmer Shadows came out? Let's count it down. Somebody tell me who knows when Glimmer Shadows was released. I'm watching the chat box. Don't cheat and Google it. Let me see if you know. <laughs> Who's the first person who could tell me when Glimmer Shadows was released by Avon? And I'm going to, while you guys figure that out, Millie says people are excited, are reacting to the eye excitement. They say hello back. <laughs> yes, you can read so much in people's eyes. So this is the gold, sorry, not the gold, diamond dust. You see the shimmer in the diamond dust? Let me come closer so you can see it. You guys see that shimmer? There we go. It is sparkly like super super sparkle compared to the the satin matte the satin matte really is a more of a day more of like a casual day look but it still gives you a little bit of shimmer but not so much not i wouldn't even say shimmer i would say shine in a matte kind of way because it's not so much that you get like sparkle and glitter and all that so i feel like this is more like an everyday kind of thing. The glitter sometimes is like too much for work. That last color was Samstone, also a go-to for me. Um, but this is one of the colors that's been really popular. For me, this is the color that I'm super thankful for because as you can see, the other colors are so close to my skin tone that I need something to kick it up. So this guy is Tiger's Eye. So what I've normally been doing, let me see if I can get this for you guys to see. It really likes the glimmer shadow. It's focusing in, there we go. So the tiger's eye is this one, the darkest one. Also matte, 
flat, but still with a little hint of shimmer, but not as sparkly, not sparkly at all. Um, and just to show you another sparkly one that I've been wearing a lot lately, this is the Citron Violet, I believe. This one also has sparkles, but not as many sparkles. But one of the things I love about these products is A, it's super easy to apply. You just put on the brush and then you can blend it out. So let's say you want to wear the purple, but you don't want it to be like purple, purple. You just kind of dab it and you can blend it out to whatever you want. But can you guys see there are, it's really focusing on the glimmer shadows. Go look at those. Focus. Yes, Millie, you said that they're so easy to apply. Eh. Focus. It wants to focus on my desk. Okay, so we'll come down. Can you guys see the sparkles? So you could blend it out to almost nothing. So you just get like a hint of color or you could wear it like full color. You, can anybody guess <laughs> which level I wear it at? Full color. Yeah. So yeah, Millie, all of these colors actually, you can blend them out. Once they dry though, they're dry. They don't go anywhere. They're, you know, on there. But if you can catch it, like these last three, I blended out... I added last. This one that I did first isn't going anywhere. It's it's on there. It's like, nope, not moving. You already let me dry. So when you apply it, you could really get that full color or you could blend it out and get a lighter color. The one that I'm wearing right now, I have both the, what did I say this purple was? Ion Violet. I put the Ion Violet on top of the moonstone so i put like the moonstone over the main part of my lid and then i just blended a little violet out at the corner and then on the inner corner of my eyes where i kind of want a little extra i put a tiny like tiny dot like i just tapped the brush with the the um what did i say this one was diamond dust just to the inner corner of my eye to kind of make my eyes a little brighter but i love how these colors blend and they don't move you can have them on all day, no moving. I have oily skin, you guys can see. I, I really have to mattify my skin if I want that matte look to stay. But my eyes, I don't have to do that too. And this is without primer. There's no concealer underneath this, no eye primer underneath this. These products go on and they stay. So if you're looking for products that will stay on your eyes all day, regardless of the sweat, regardless of the water, and I've been caught in the rain in these guys, no movement. So this is a product that I don't think a lot of people realize is so amazing, but they have so many colors and a lot of the new matte colors, they complement a full range of skin tones. So Millie says easy to apply. Oh yeah, the blending out, it really helps because sometimes people will see a color, like with this purple, you might look at this color and say, oh, it's too much. I don't know if I can really wear that heavy a purple, but you could blend it out so that it's really the light messes up the colors but you can't even see the purple in some places the way I blend it out see how it's just really kind of light so you can blend it out as light as you want and the other colors because they're matte you can really work with them you could blend them out too so you can have them be bolder or you can kind of blend them out to let they're washing Milagro said she thought I was wearing the powder eyeshadow. No, that's the other great thing about this. Even though they're liquid, sometimes people are afraid of liquid shadows. And if you're that person who has tried liquid shadows in the past, I was the same. I was like, no, nope, try liquid shadows. My eyes are so oily that the liquid shadow just kind of runs and then settles in the creases of my eyes. You guys can see no settling in the creases of my eyes. This product stays put. I will give, I will be honest with you these the lighter shades probably the sandstone i've used the sandstone matter of fact i think i've actually used the gold there was one that i had first i don't know if it was the moon probably the gold the why do i keep saying gold the um the diamond dust i actually had the diamond dust first i actually used to use that glitter and oil as a base for my other shadows so i would put on the diamond dust sparkles and everything and then I would come back in with my powdered eyeshadow. Because it stays put so well, I've used it as an eye primer for my other shadows. 
So now that I have this satin matte sandstone, I've been using this. So I put this on and I blend it out and let it sit just like it is on my hand. I just put it on there and then it doesn't move and it keeps all my shadows in place. And what I wanted to show you was, let's go back to this one. I'm going to see if I can pull you up a little bit. Do this without causing a problem. So shadows all on, right? What do you do if you get a rainy day and you are all wet, you're going in the pool? I don't know if anybody's doing pool right now, if you have one at home. Oh, your makeup will all wet. If this was powder, it would all be in the cup now, wouldn't it, right? Guess what? No movement. It stays. It it doesn't move. So it's water resistant. So that's why I say, you know, sweat proof. <laughs> Janet says I sold her. Um, sweat proof, check. Um, crease proof, check. Waterproof, I, I don't, I wouldn't say waterproof because obviously it can wash off your skin. It won't stay there for days. I've tried. I told you guys I, I did the full test. I slept in it. Um, it does come off. I do recommend that you use like an oil based um, makeup remover or the makeup remover wipes that Avon has. You guys don't know what I'm pointing at, but this bucket here has all my crazy stuff. This eyeshadow is the bomb. They have so many colors. I encourage you guys get a variety of different colors so that you could still change it up. But you can use these guys with other um, powder shadows. Like I said, I've used it as a base. The sparkly ones I like to use even over my makeup. Like if you just want like a little glitter highlight in the middle and you guys saw how I did like that little glitter in the inner corner of my eye to just make my eye pop a little bit. You guys see that little bit of pop and it stays so good. So whether you're sweating in your mask, you're running around in your mask, you're worried about having to reapply your makeup, you don't have that problem with the glimmer shadows. So I will post the links to all of these products down below, but of course, again, make sure to subscribe because I am going to be doing more videos and sharing more products and sharing more behind the scenes looks, you know, insider tips um from for all these products to help you guys use them better because they're not just eyeshadows these are eyeshadow primer and like fix it spray all in one so you get more bang for your buck with these products than you do with some of the other products on the market that will wash off on you in the rain i need to do like a slow replay of pouring the water on my hand because it's not gone it's still there the light on this camera makes it hard to see, but all the, the shadows are still there on my hand. Even the one that I kind of blended and smudged out. So even if you want a lighter finish, it's still here. Still there. Doesn't go anywhere. And like I said, you can mix these colors together. You can reapply just how I made that purple darker by coming in again with another layer. Just like paint. You put it on, you let it dry, you come back in with another layer. It's just like new. So glimmer shadows. My mask proof makeup number one product is Glimmer Shadows. Perfect for this season that we're in. I think, I, you know, I, I have a couple, but I would recommend everyone get at least two shades, a lighter shade for like the inner corner of your eye. And then on the evenings when you want to kick it up a notch, you could put a purple shade. I'm wearing the purple at the corners and underneath my eye. You see it like I have that purple underneath my eyeliner. A little darker shade if you want to kick it up in the night you're doing a, a virtual e-harmony date you could do that so thank you guys all for joining me tonight i just put all my glimmer sticks in the water <laughs> thank you guys all for um joining me i'll be back again tomorrow eight to nine and tomorrow i'm going to show you how to set your makeup but today we, we talked a bit you know we caught up on some breakfast we kind of got filled in tomorrow we're going to do some more like hands-on makeup applications so don't forget to subscribe make sure you subscribe you'll get all the alerts for when i'm live and you'll have the link to share also invite your friends so that we can talk together and be sure to share the hashtag 
hashtag Avon Boss. I will be pulling some of your photos to share here on the live stream. And Nita, I hope you got the email. You're very welcome, Heidi. I hope you got the email address. If not, once I get my keyboard working, I'll type it in the chat box. But I want you guys to send me your questions, send me things that you want to see videos on. Milagros, you want a, a video on my YouTube setup? I got you. This is the temporary one but I'll, I'll show you what I've done now. And then hopefully once I'm back in my house, I'll show you the final setup. So I will see you guys all again tomorrow.